Yo, what is going on guys? That 2016 BMW M4 GTS reward unlocked for completing or at least smashing all of the bear champ collectibles throughout the map, all 100 of them. That is what we're gonna do in today's video. I'm gonna show you the locations of all 100 of these bear champs so you can smash these things out really quick. We're gonna take a look as well as this BMW M4. Hopefully it's something that maybe you wanna do. It is super easy. It doesn't take very long to get through all of these bear champs, especially being that I'm gonna show you the locations of all of them. Now, before we get into the actual specifics of where exactly all of these bear champs are, let me tell you what I did. Obviously, with on the collectible screen, it is a complete mess. There are so many collectibles in the game, no way to filter them. So what I did was, is I broke this map down into eight different sections and it's going to be from the second zoom level. You have two or three different zoom levels. This is the starting zoom level. And then if you just push up one time, you go to the second zoom level and then you go to the third zoom level. So all of these pictures that I'm getting ready to show you, they're all going to be from the second zoom level. So when you're looking at this, that is the level you're gonna wanna do. And I broke it up, like I said, into eight different sections. Starting from the top left-hand side, you see a line kind of in the middle of the map drawn straight down. So there's gonna be four sections, starting on the left side, going from the top, then to the next one right below it, and the next one right below it, and the next one right below that. So four on the left side of that little line that's down the middle and four on the right side. So now let's just look at the first section of the city. This is the top left of the map. Like I said, second zoom level. So bring up your map, top left side of the screen, go to the second zoom level, and then just compare my screen with your screen. Which bear champs are you missing? and you can kind of get the general idea of about where the bear champ is going to be. Now, just by looking at this map, you're not gonna be able to tell the exact location of it, but that is okay because this game, at least as far as the collectibles go, give you a way to find it without not having to know the exact location. And this is what I mean by that. If you look at your bottom left-hand side of the screen, you'll notice that there's no bear champ there, right? And if you have the general idea of about where the bear champ is gonna be, once you're driving, you'll see a big green circle to pop up on your map. Well, that's gonna tell you that a collectible is in the area. You keep looking in that vicinity, and uh, it, as you get closer and closer to the collectible, then it will, uh, then the icon for that collectible will pop up and you'll be able to knock it out. So as long as you know a general vicinity of where it's at, you'll be able to find it. So then just mark these locations and then drive to it. The green circle will pop up on your screen and you'll be able to locate the bear champ. And another thing to also note, if you notice at the very bottom right of the screen, kind of where the freeways look like that they have entrance ramps and off ramps down there at the very bottom right, you'll see that a bear champ that is not highlighted yellow because all of the bear champs just to distinguish them between the rest of the collectibles, I highlighted them yellow. That one is not highlighted yellow because it's going to be on the next map. I didn't want to repeat the same ones because the, the pictures kind of overlap with each other. The bottom of one kind of overlaps with the top of the next one. That way you're not looking for the same one and you know which ones you've already done. So I'm only going to be highlighting them once on all of the pictures. And so obviously all you gotta do is just pause the video in whatever section that you need and then compare it with the bear champs that you do have currently and then be able to find the ones that you don't and be able to run through this super quick. So this is the second section right below the top right or the top left of the screen, right below that second section. And then here we got the third section on the left side. And then here we have the, the final section on the left side at the very bottom left. And so, like I said, the left side is broken up into four sections as well as the right side. And then here we got the very top right of the map. And on the right side, it's a lot more cluttered, I would say, especially on the street art as well. Just pay attention where some of the collectibles do kind of look like they overlap. So uh, kind of like on the bottom left-hand side, you'll see a street art that's still green, but right underneath it, you'll see the bear champ, which is yellow. 
So keep in mind that some of these will overlap with each other. So try to find, that's why, again, I highlighted them yellow so you can see them. Second section down on the right side, this is by far the most cluttered part of the city, especially when it comes to collectibles. But uh, still pretty easy to um, spot out, I think, being that they're yellow instead of green. And then third section down on the right side here. And then finally, the last section on the right side on the very bottom right of the screen. So that is all 100 of them. And I did count them and I did double check to make sure that I did not highlight any extra ones. So uh, you shouldn't have any for any problems finding these. Now let's just take a quick look at the BMW M4 so you can see you know, what it comes with. Obviously there's tons of customization in here, but uh, and you're obviously gonna make it faster and all that stuff. But uh, this is what it looks like when it comes factory stock, what it comes with, and it comes with you know, A plus 264 rating. Definitely geared more towards the handling side as far as uh, instead of drifting. So if you do you know, want to set it up as a drift car, you obviously got to make some adjustments. 500 plus horsepower. Couple of the customization options that I just wanted you to see before we move on. Uh, the engine that it comes with is just the Sport, the 493 horsepower, and you can fit all the way up to the Super at 690 horsepower. So you can certainly make this much faster. One thing about it though that I did find that is kind of disappointing is that there is zero customization when it comes to the body of the actual car. There is no body kits and there's no body parts that you can edit whatsoever. So just the windows and the wheels and that is it. So uh, you, know, you can't mess with the hood, the spoiler, the bumper, the side skirts, you can't do any customization to the body. So hopefully this made it easier for you to be able to find all those bear champs, be able to get this M4. Now, as far as you know, my general impressions, I am still not very good at this game. And I spent most of my time, at least the first couple days, trying to get all of these collectibles done and to collect these free cars. So I didn't have to buy anything. But uh, I, at least as far as the stock version goes, it is certainly set up more towards handling than it is towards drifting. But it's a really good looking car. It's pretty fast and I definitely enjoy, you know, all of the different vehicles that this game has. So I do want to collect them all. And being that this one's free i thought you know what i'll just get the free ones first and then uh worry about the other ones later but either way though hopefully it did help you be able to find all of these bear champs a lot faster than uh instead of just out there searching for them uh we will have another video for the street art later today so take a look at that if you are looking for the street arts either way though guys i'll see y'all next time y'all take it easy we're out peace